Hi there, it's Carl here from Cleaning How To and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove this wine stain from this absolutely stunning hand-loomed Iranian bajar rug with a Harati pattern in the field. Now luckily enough the wine stain is actually disguised pretty well by the colouring of the rug itself but you can just see in this flower that we've got a red tinge and this whole area here is also darkened up. So I'm going to run through what to do step by step if either a you've just spilt wine on your carpet or rug or b there's a set in wine stain that you're trying to remove. If this has just happened you're going to need to grab some kitchen towel and literally put it over the stain and press down as hard as you can even going so far as to standing on the kitchen towel to absorb as much of the wine out as possible. Now this stain is obviously dry. The client advised me that they had spilt it on the rug which was only a couple of months old. Didn't know what to do so left it alone. I'm going to test for transfer now. I'm going to get a little bit of plain cold water and I really mean just a little bit on the end of a microfiber or cotton towel and I'm just going to rub it across the fibers and see if I get any red transfer out into the towel. Now what's most likely happened here is that the pile has been re-dyed by the wine, by the red tannins in the wine, but I'll probably still get a little bit of release and I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but there's a very, very slight tinge of red just around there, which means that the stain is actually mobile. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is actually put a little bit more moisture in there and try and recreate the original conditions, as in recreate the spill, if that makes sense, by just making it a little bit wetter. And then I'm going to grab my kitchen towel and see what I can pull out of it. So the more I can get out of this now, the easier it's going to be to remove the stain if I need to use peroxide. Okay, so I'm not getting too much more out of it, so I'm going to just give that a light brush to open the pile up again, and then I'm going to grab some peroxide. So I've mixed up some hydrogen peroxide at a 3% strength. You can see it fizzing away there, it's nice and active. And I also have a steam iron set to very cool. So I just want to heat and get the reaction of the peroxide, which is releasing oxygen, get those molecules excited to then reverse the wine staining. A very small amount, I don't need loads, and I'm gonna dab it onto the staining in the rug. You can already see that it's actually working. So I'm gonna rub it across all of the bits of wine. And yeah, that's reversing out really well. So as you can see, the reaction is almost instant. I've got red wine transfer out into the microfiber. You can probably just see that. There's probably a little bit of dye in that too. Now that that's all nice and mobile, I'm gonna absorb out the excess with the paper towel I was using earlier. You can see that there's a red tinge to the towel. There's a lot more of a red tinge in the microfiber, but it's after essentially activating and migrating into the towel, which is great. And then I'm gonna fold the towel onto a dry bit and just settle the towel on the wine stain just for a couple of moments. You'll start to see that anything in the rug will migrate through to the microfiber. So it's a little bit red there too. I've got a tiny little bit more here that I want to work out. Less is more. I'm not looking to soak the area in peroxide. That's not going to be good for the rug. Bit by bit, glance the fibers. I don't know if you can see that, but to the eye, we're in the region of 90% gone. What I really don't want to do is activate the dye in these reds around the cotton tip. So keeping the solution away from there at this stage. And then I'm going to get my paper towel, absorb out as much as I can, give it a little more heat, just for five seconds or so. Don't want to do it for too long. A little bit of a red tinge in the areas that I was touching with the cotton bud, which is great. And our wine stain is gone. I always aim when I'm doing a stain removal, I always aim for about 95% because that extra 5% is the danger zone. And the danger zone is where you'll chemically burn or you'll cause permanent damage. But to be honest, that's looking really well. And comparing it to the rest of the rug, it, excuse all my stuff and lights and stuff, but to the rest of the rug, 
We're now back being nice and uniform. How to remove a red wine stain from a carpet. Yeah, so if you liked the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Carl here from Cleaning How To, how to remove a red wine stain. Thanks for watching.